Hi, and welcome to my channel. Here's a quick express bar routine that's perfect for anybody. The only equipment you will need is a sturdy chair to serve as our bar or base of support and a light set of hand weights. I'll be using three pounds. You can always grab soup cans, water bottles. We're gonna start with a nice warm up, get into the leg and thigh work, arms, and then we're gonna stay seated for our stretching and abdominals at the end. So you don't need to get down on the floor. No need to worry about that. You don't need any footwear. Um, Socks or bare feet are fine. I put on my old ballet shoes um, because I didn't paint my toes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. First position, heels together. I'll use some ballet terms, nothing too advanced. You guys, no dance experience required. Here we go, big deep breath in. Exhale down, little plie, big deep breath in. And out. Round those arms forward, and let's start lifting up to the toes and down, little releve. For four, three, two, and one. Stay here, arm circles up and down. Lift, stand up nice and tall. Core is engaged, heels are together with a natural turnout, so I don't want you to feel any pressure in those knees. You're squeezing your buttons. I'll give you lots of reminders throughout this whole routine. Lift and lower. Again, let's add a little plie. Two more. Nice side stretch to the side. And other side. Same thing, side stretch, but take a nice step out to the left with a little lunge and bring it back. Side step. Two more each side. Maybe lunge a little bit deeper, warming up those legs. Come back to center, toes facing forward, arms rounded in front. Let's open and close. Open the arms and the toes. Four more here. For two. Hold it center here, lift onto the toes, and raise the arms up and down. Directly up onto the ball of the foot. For four, three, two, and one. Step out to a nice wide second position here. Toes are to the corners. Plie, lift and squeeze. Down and left. Knees are tracking in line with your toes. Two more. Last one, hold it down low here, and then I want you to tuck your hips. So think of like a little abdominal crunch here. Tuck, warming up those hips and the buns. For three, two, and one. Come back up, toe heel in, toes are facing forward. Reach those arms, sit back with the squat, and lift nice and tall. We sit, and lift. Two more here. Last one, hold this squat. I want you to forward fold, stretch the backs of the legs. Big inhale. Now bend your knees, tummy in, and round that back up. One vertebrae at a time. Finishing with those shoulders. That was our warm up. Let's go ahead and get to work. Grab your chair your base of support, you could always use a mantle, something like that as well. Starting in our first position, tummy in, shoulders down and back, holding nice and light onto our chair, lift and lower. We just have eight releves here. For four, three, two, 
and one stay up top now glue those heels together so just come in an inch and then we come down we pulse for two and three up and squeeze plie down two three up and squeeze lower two three and left down two three up and squeeze knees are pushed back chest is nice and high shoulders down and back and squeeze last one down two pause hold it here take the knees back and back holding low ouch i know for four three two and one come back up and shake it out we're going to repeat that whole series in a second position a little bit wider heels underneath those shoulders starting with the releves we lift and lower it's not your imagination it is harder with our feet wider left and lower for four three two and one heels on the floor we pulse down for three two one up and squeeze down two three lift lower two three squeeze push through those heels really works the inner thighs down two three up and squeeze can you go lower up and squeeze two more down two three and lift down two three and lift last one hold it down here now knees come back so just pushing those knees back like a little butterfly fluttering the wings for three two and one Woo. shake it out right leg is going to step back into a curtsy lunge chest stays nice and high bending both knees and tap that right leg out to the side we go curtsy and tap curtsy and tap two more like this then we've got the option to come to a little passe here to the side extend the leg keeping the hip square back to that passe directly back into that curtsy lunge passe extend and curtsy left if it is too much for you to lift that leg then just keep that toe tap out to the side extend we go down lift whole time think about lifting really nice and high We're elongating all these muscles all right guys last one hold it here leg stays extended little less here for seven six five four three two and one shake it out ouch i know we're gonna repeat all that on the other side starting in our first position hands on the hips or if you like you can take it, the arm out to the side starting with our releves lift and lower remember that posture shoulders down and back core engaged and we're squeezing all those leg muscles at once hold this last one heels together pulse down for three two one lift and squeeze three two one squeeze think about pushing those heels together that really helps activate the muscles as well pulse it down two three and left a few more stay with me anytime you need to shake it out please do so these muscles take some time to really build on that endurance last one hold it down three two pause hold it here knees press back seven six five four three two and one shake it out same thing into that second position starting with the releves lift and lower lift and lower option here if you want to check that balance round the arms in front for three 
to, then we plie. Option here to do the second set on releve and the tippy toes. We go three, two, one, up and squeeze. Down for three, two, one balance challenge, I know. Three, two, and one. Make sure that you're not sticking your butt out behind you. A little tuck forward. Three, two, one, and left. Down for three, two, and one. Two more, three, two, one. Lift and squeeze, down for three, two, one. Lift and squeeze, come back down here, knees go back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Relax, shake it out again, straight into those curtsy lunges. We've got four with the toe tap. Start in that first position, stepping back with that left leg, and tap that toe out to the side. We go down and tap. Option to keep the tap or come to the passe, extend, and back. Lift, hips are square. You're really squeezing through that right butt cheek, supporting everything. And leg is coming out, not directly to the side, but at the corner. Excellent. Two more. Last one. Hold it here. Little lifts. We go up and up for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plie. Shake it out. Nice job. I'm going to turn to the side here. Let's do a few quick stretches. Big lunge back. Straighten that back knee. Bend the front. Arm comes up. Big inhale. Exhale, reach over that left shoulder. Head back to center, other leg. Quick switch, lunge. Straighten that back knee. Heel comes towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale over. And back to center. Let's work the buns. Both hands are facing your chair. Coming to a first position, ever so slightly hinged forward. Back leg comes back, we point, we lift, point, then come back to first. So back, lift, point, return. Our leg is not lifting high and our core is engaged. Point, Lift, point, return. Three more. For two. Take that toe back again, point. Leg is turned out, eight leg lifts here. We lift and tap. You can hinge forward a little bit more to get that leg a little bit higher, lifting from that glute. We go four, three, two, hold it up, pulse it here for six, five, four, three, two, freeze. This is the end. Hold it here. Maybe extend the other arm. Maybe do a balance check, a little arabesque. Come to a plie, relax. Nice job. Same thing, other side. Starting in that first position. Point the leg back. We lift, point, and return. The whole time we're doing this, we're squeezing all those leg muscles. We're working so much at once here. Make sure you're breathing. Lift, bring it back. Legs are turned out. So that means we're trying to work our kneecaps to the side rather than to the floor. Last one, point, lift, lower, and down. Point that leg back again, turned out, eight leg lifts here. Tummies in. 
Almost there. Four, three. You got this. Two. Let's hold it up. Little pulse. Teeny little ones. They hurt the most, I know. Three, two, and one. Can you hold it here? Maybe extend that other arm. Beautiful, nice long line balance. Hold, hold, hold. And plie, come out of it. Great job. You can put your chair to the side. We're going directly into our arm work. So grab your weights or soup cans or whatever you have. And let's come to a first position again. Arms are nice and rounded in front of us. Roll those shoulders down and back. We're simply gonna lift and lower here. So think about a nice proud chest, rounded arms like you're hugging a big tree. And then keep the elbows lifted. That's what makes a pretty ballet arm. The shoulders are down, but the elbows are lifted. Give me three, two, hold it here, shoulder height. Now let's open and close. Just those shoulders and arms are moving. Everything else stays nice and still, slow and controlled. Squeeze the back, squeeze the chest for three, two, and one. Hold those weights in front. Let's take them all the way up and lower down. Big circles here. Keeping the arms rounded. Chest is lifted. Core is engaged. Lift. Float the arms down. And lift. We've got three. Two. One more. Then we go to biceps. Lower the arms, palms forward, full bicep curl here, up and down. It's easy stuff after all that work. Four more at the full range of motion here, and then we're gonna do little pulses. Here we go, hold them halfway down, little pulses up and up. Good, breathe. Really focus in on that bicep muscle for four, Three, two, and one. Beautiful job working the back of the body. We are gonna step to the side, open up into our curtsy again, lower down, palms up, and then lift those arms here. So we're in that lunge position. Four more. Three, two, and one. Weights come forward. We step, curtsy back. Lower down, palms up, back and back. Really lengthen and strengthen those arms behind us. Three, two, and one. Again, step, curtsy, and down, lift. We're high-fiving the ceiling behind us. Three, two, one more time, guys. Forward, curtsy, bring it back, lift behind. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. We're doing all that one more time, starting with the rounded arms. This time my feet are in parallel, straight in front. Shoulders down, four more here. And two, hold them here, open, close. Open and close. Breathe, shake it out if you need to. And bar, we use light weights and a lot of reps. Two more. Let's do those circles all the way up. Circle down. Continue to lift tall. And breathe. Three more here. Ooh, the shoulders are getting warm, I know. Last one, lower down bicep curl. Use your own resistance here. Really squeeze that weight. Final four, then we do our pulses again. Hold it halfway down, little pulses here. A little up, keep it really small. Getting deep into that bicep muscle. 
for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set of curtsies. Here we go. We step side, out, down. Lift the weights behind us. Again, stretch those fingers nice and long. Two and one. Step, curtsy, lift. Shoulders are pressed down and back. This is working our triceps and our upper back. Just gaze a few feet in front of you to keep your neck in line with that torso. Nice spinal alignment here. Little pulse, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, release those shoulders. Beautiful job, we can put those weights down. Grab your chair. You need one with a back, if I didn't mention that before. Okay, sitting in our chair, come to the very edge of it, and legs are directly out in front, knees bent at a 90 degree angle. Roll those shoulders down and back. Lift the arms forward with a nice rounded lifted elbow. Core is engaged. Pull the belly button in. We're going to lean, tap our upper back, and then come back up. Down. If you want a little more of a challenge, you actually lift the arms up. Down. And lift. Lower. And lift. Two more here. Round those arms forward. Similar, we're gonna lean back, and this time I want you to sweep that right arm towards the floor and come back up. Reach and sweep, and left. This is all core, you guys. So keep that belly button pulled in. Reach and sweep, and left. Little twist. Two more. Last one, hold it here. Twist to the side and center. Side and center. Again, just using the core here. The arms are just along for the ride. Attached to our torso, right? Are your elbows still lifted? Keep this movement, and then I want you to reach the arm back. And back. Pull the belly button in. Four more here. Last two, head follows the hand. Option here if you want to add the leg. So reach and lift the leg. That's just gonna activate that lower core, those lower abs a little bit more. Totally optional if it's too much. Twisting and lengthening. Just two more. And relax those arms. I know those you're feeling those shoulders. Okay, coming to the back of our chair now. And then I want you to just give me a little slump with the C curve. So our upper back is pressed into the chair. And I really want you to carve this out here. Really suck that belly button in, bracing that core. Hold the sides of the chair. Lift your legs and then turn them out. And we're going to open and then close and switch one over the other. Two more big ones like this. Keep that core. Now quick, eight little switches, six, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, relax out of that. We're gonna do that one more time. You've got this last thing to do before we stretch. Inhale, exhale, let's lean back. Pull that tummy in, extend the legs, Turn them out, heels together. We open and close. Open, little cross and switch. Here we go, eight little ones, cross and cross. Six, four, three, two, and one. Relax down, beautiful work. Woo. Sit up nice and high in that chair. Take this right leg. Let's pick it up and hug that knee and give me some ankle circles. Releasing tension, that lower half, reverse. If it's okay for your knees, you can grab onto that shin and hug that knee even closer to your chest, feeling a nice stretch, especially in the glute. 
and take the same right leg. Let's cross it over the other knee. Flex that foot, sit up nice and tall. Make sure that bottom knee is lined up. Big inhale, exhale forward fold with a nice proud straight chest. You should really feel that in the side of your hip. One more big inhale, exhale. Sit up nice and tall, leave the leg there. Let's take your right arm up and then a big twist over. Sit up nice and tall. Come back to center and then cross the right leg all the way over. And here we go, just relaxing forward fold. Just as far as you can go down, relax the arms. You should feel this in your lower back or maybe some more in your hips. Big inhale here. Exhale, tummy in, let's round it up one vertebrae at a time. Uncross that leg and let's take the left leg, sit up nice and tall, hug it in, ankle circles and reverse. Again, if it's comfortable for your knee, you can hug it in a little bit closer. And let's take that leg, crossing it on top of that thigh, flex that ankle, inhale, exhale to deepen that stretch into the hip. Beautiful deep breaths in and out. back to a tall seated position arm goes up and let's twist it back around behind us you can use that other hand to emphasize that stretch a little bit more come back to center cross that leg all the way over and forward fold again release that lower back big deep breath in out, tummy in, we roll it up one vertebrae at a time and uncross those legs. Arms out to the side, give me a nice side stretch all the way over and down. Hold this one here, really reach up and out to the side. Then I want you to pull the tummy in and round that shoulder. Let's sweep all the way across and then finish sit him nice and tall. Open up that arm to the back and then pull it nice and close in front to feel a nice shoulder stretch. Release it down and arm comes up. Big stretch over. Release it down and lift high then to the side release inhale exhale hold this one here tummy in round the back round the shoulder sweep all the way across sit up nice and tall and then pull that arm back and let's sweep it in front assisting with that shoulder stretch make sure that your right shoulder is pressed down inhale Exhale, release it down. Arms come to the side, palms down at about a 45 degree angle. Go ahead and take your ear towards that shoulder, feeling a beautiful neck stretch. Inhale. Exhale, drop that chin, moving the stretch to the side, the back of the neck. And then circle that neck all the way around. Finishing chin down at center and lift that chin back up. Good, again, reach those fingertips to the side. Extend ear towards shoulder. Drop the chin. And then big circle again, all the way around, releasing any tension in the neck. Finish center, lift that chin, relax the arms down. As always, we finish with a big inhale, arms come up, exhale down, two more big inhale, exhale down. I hope you had fun in our quick bar routine. I know I did always feel amazing with our stretches. Thank you for joining me today. 
please give this video a like, a thumbs up, share it with your friends. It really helps grow my business. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification so you don't miss a new video and definitely leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys. We'll see you next time.